Hello farmers, welcome to Backyard Poultries, welcome to Backyard Pro Poultries, Backyard Farms, and I uh, hope you are doing well. So today uh, we want to focus on kale farming, or sukumawiki farming, and I hope we we'll learn together. So please consider subscribing to Backyard Farms, please consider subscribing to Backyard Farms, and let's learn together. Now when it comes to kale farming, or sukumawiki farming as it's commonly known in Kenya first of all before everything you have to prepare your land so land preparation is the very first thing that you must do as a farmer you have to prepare your land uh, for cultivation your land has to be perfectly plowed and then after that it's recommended that you introduce manure so that to boost the nutrition quotient of your farm if you have uh, animal manure, whether sheep, goats, or cattle, or even chicken manure, it's recommended. It's uh, one of the best manure that you can use. So you can use animal manure uh, for kale farming. And that's, uh, at times, it also enables you to reduce the costs that you might use, maybe if you had used, uh, let's say, commercial manure. After that, then, uh, you have to consider, am I going to uh, doing uh, rain-fed uh, farming or am I going to do uh, farming that would be assisted by irrigation? So if you are doing irrigation, you set up your irrigation systems. Uh, you set up your irrigation systems, whether it's by drip irrigation or by sprinkler irrigation. Then after that, after setting up your irrigation system, or, or if you are uh, you are relying on rain when it starts to rain then you now get into planting when it gets to planting you must consider first am i going to uh, plant uh, uh, the variety that uh, you plant using seedlings because there's a variety that you use seedlings and there are a variety that you only uh, use cuttings cuttings from uh, previously a uh, grown kale the cuttings can be used to to grow uh, they can be planted and when planted they uh, they just regrow so you have to consider that whether you're going to use uh, from the seedbed although it's recommended that uh, especially whether when you're doing this as a commercial venture it's recommended that you use the seedlings uh, because they grow faster, they mature faster, and therefore you are able to recoup your initial invest investment and your profits in no time compared to the ones that you use cuttings. The ones that you use uh, cutting from already grown kale are good because uh, they take time. They do not die out fast compared to the variety that you use seedlings. Now, after that, your manure has to be mixed into the soil. Mix your manure into the soil, whether sheep or uh, goat manure or cattle manure. Mix it into the soil and allow, uh, allow your sprinkler, whether you are using irrigation or whether you are using rain, allow your farm to be, uh, to be irrigated, uh, whether by rain or by uh, uh, other means. And then after that, then now you consider now planting your 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 kale. So after after irrigating or after a rainy season, then you consider now you can now start planting your kale. Uh, for this variety, see that it will take close to six weeks. It will take close to six weeks, and then as a farmer, you'll be able to harvest. So thank you for uh, joining us and please consider subscribing to Backyard Farms. Thank you.